Okay, everybody, welcome back to the Impossible Game Let's Play. This is day 35. Um, I'm back playing this and getting really mad because of your entertainment. I know you guys love to watch me fucking rage and throw shit and piss my pants with and poop and all that shit. All that goodness that you just love because you hate me and you just, it's a love-hate relationship, but I'm pretty sure it's like all hate. So, today, I'm going to be ranting about something that really, really pissed me off. I, ju I just saw this, and I'm just going to start the game so I can get a little bit more angry. We're fucking still on level 2, but, uh, so I can get a little bit more angry, and then I can go on the rant. So, have you ever fucked a goat? I have totally never did, but I fucking saw it, and it was disgusting. This guy fucking shoved it in there, and then what the fuck? I don't even know. And then it was just like, it was, his face was just like, ah, uh, oh, uh, and apparently he was enjoying it, and the goat was like, bah, bah, bah. I don't know if the goat was enjoying it, or calling rape, or talking, or screaming, or blah, 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 but it's a goat. How the hell are we supposed to understand it? How the hell did I see this? I didn't. I'm completely lying to you. Don't you just love it when someone lies straight to your fucking face? If you could see my face. But don't you just love that? No, you don't. So here's a real story, Morning Glory. Here's a real story, Morning Glory. Alright, so I watched this YouTube video, and it was, uh, like, I was on Facebook, because I was fucking bored out of my mind. It's, like, 11.30 fucking p.m. I was doing my math on where I was like, yeah, fuck this, I'm done. So I was like, okay, let me just see what's new on the fucking Facebooks, because I'm a faggot who has nothing better to do. Uh, so I was on Facebook, and then all of a sudden, I was like, okay, there's this vlog. I'm going to go watch this. Hopefully, it's interesting. And I have never been fucking so bored in my goddamn life. It is the worst damn vlog I have ever seen. Holy shit, I am got, I just, I don't know, man. The quality of that fucking webcam was awful. The girl was just so fucking low. I couldn't hear right to turn up my goddamn volume. I hurt my ears. It was so fucking boring. She was just like, oh, my boyfriend's amazing. And uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, like rainbows and ponies. And like a fucking actual teenage girl would. And fucking A, it was just so boring. So here I am ranting about this. You wonder why? Because this fucking... This fucking bitch gets, like, five subscribers just for having a vagina. Seriously, because you have a vagina, that does not mean you get five easy subscribers. There is a lot of people on YouTube who work really, really hard, like me, and other people who commentate and do this. Not just commentating, working hard by, like, creating videos, explosion effects, and all that. Uh, gunshot videos, and all that. And you know what? To get a few subscribers. You know what the girls get? They get fucking ridiculous amounts just because they have vaginas and boobs. This is not a fair community. You should you should judge it on how funny the thing is, how fu how good the thing is, not if it has boobs. Seriously, are your boobs gonna solve world hunger? No. Is my commentary gonna solve world hunger? No. Is it gonna make people laugh? Hell yeah. Is it gonna make people piss their pants? No. Is it gonna make you angry at me? Yes. I don't give a shit. Go ahead. If you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Go fucking head. I don't care. You, if you know exactly what video I'm talking about, fucking leave a link or something, I'll go check it out. Because I wanna... Oh my fucking god, lag up the asshole, god fucking cunt. Okay, so, it was just, I could. I didn't even finish it, I'm like three minutes in, I have to fucking finish it, because like, if I don't finish it, I, I, I need to, because I don't want to go to bed. Okay, so it was just like, oh my god, I'm in, I'm in culinary, because I go to a technical school, it's the girls in my school, I was fucking bored on my goddamn mind, it was just like, oh my god, what the fuck. She was like, okay, my vlog, this is not number one, and it wasn't like, it wasn't like, hey guys, this is volume one. It was like, okay, so I'm gonna do vlog number one, blah. I mean, hey, I mean, I understand that you're gonna, that it's your first time doing it, and, and you're nervous. Like, I was nervous the first time. I was like, I was like, what's up? My old intro was like a little mon, it was like happy, and then I went to monotone slowly. I went like, hey YouTube, what's up? And I was like, what's going on YouTube? My name's Cop Police, and it was kind of like more monotone because I had an older mic. Uh, and it was like all like that, and it was fucking boring, and it was okay. And then eventually it got more and more boring because it was Minecraft. I mean, what the fuck am I supposed to do in Minecraft? I can't like jack off trees. I can't jack off in the corner. Why is it always coming back to jack off? You know why? Because I'm fucking tired. You know what you do when you can't sleep? You fucking jack off till you can. You wanna know why? Because it clears your mind. You wanna know why you can't sleep? Because your mind is so cluttered. And you wanna know what solves that? Clearing your mind. You know what solves? 
you don't want to clear your mind, you fucking jack off. That's why it always comes back to jacking it. You know why? Because of fucking jacking. If if everyone jacked off, if if we had a day for jacking it, that day would be for fucking world peace along along everyone. Seriously, because everyone would be so goddamn happy if everyone got a goddamn retron on one single day. That'd be the happiest day in the goddamn history because everyone would be like, oh, I don't want to fight. I'm just so happy right now. Fuck it. See, you see, you see, you see, this is good shit, this is good, you see, you're fucking laughing, you're fucking dying, I don't give a shit. Instead, we have fucking girls who think, oh my god, I'm so bored and at home alone, maybe I should fucking go on YouTube and create the stupidest goddamn vlog ever, and then post it. And then, you know what, fucking, I, just cause I have boobs, I'm gonna get fucking three subscribers, you know what, I don't give a shit. It's fucking bullshit. Like, you want to do it. I understand you're new and you don't know how to say it, but you could at least figure it out. Like, when I was doing it, I was like, oh shit, I'm getting monotone. You know what I did? I was like, hey guys! I was like, hey guys! And I was like, oh, and then we're gonna go and uh, chop down this tree, because fucking cunt! Because um, we're gonna go chop down this tree, and then blah, blah, blah. But you know, and I, no, it was more like, okay, then we're gonna go chop down this tree. And then I was like, oh wait, then we're gonna fucking chop down the tree! Because I caught myself. I was like, okay, no one wants to watch anyone do monotone shit, because it's boring. Because I used to watch all these. I mean, hey, I could probably do a, a, a not a bad vlog, and it would be interesting. It would be like, okay. My life is fucking ridiculous right now. I have an amazing person in my life. I have a fucking... You know what my life is? I got a fucking... My room has been turned into a fucking blanket for it. The whole room, there are blankets hanging off the ceiling and the walls. And it is the most goddamn fucking amazing thing ever. I am a goddamn fucking child. Look at me. Look at me. Look at this fucking cube. God damn it, I died. Okay, we're back. So, once again, it's really making me mad seeing all these fucking girls in my school. It's like, oh, I'm so fucking bored. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a fucking YouTube channel. And then they get subscribers. You know what one of them fucking did? They did like, what's it called? Like you take a picture and then you edit it. So then it did like, you're just, it, it looks like you're just, you take a picture and then you edit it. So it's just like one picture there, one picture there, one picture there. So it's just like constantly. And then they put music to it. And it's the most fucking retarded thing ever. And all she did was fucking write lyrics on the goddamn like sticky notes. Fucking, well, she got like 50 subscribers right now. It's bullshit. I don't give a shit. Like I have almost 90 and I love every single one of you guys but I worked really hard to get these I had to, I had to suck dick no but I pretty much had to whore myself out completely to get those like seriously think about it you do YouTube you're kind of whoring yourself out you're whoring yourself out you motherfucker you have sold your fucking vagina and or actually no because there's no fucking girls who commentate and if they are good for you but anyone who's low but any but no girls who commentate are really that small on YouTube because they have a fucking vagina and that just equals instant fucking subscribers all the guys they have to fucking just whore themselves out and make them goddamn funny i had to talk about fucking apple strippers to get like three subscribers was it worth it yeah was it hilarious yeah was i playing that hell no did i ever think i would talk about that no way in fucking hell well i'm, I'm not gonna be like walking down the street like la 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 hey apple strippers no i'm not gonna do that there's just no fucking point God damn it. You know what the point is of life? There's no goddamn point. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. I don't fucking know. All I know is that if you're if you're bored, you don't fucking do YouTube. God damn it. Anyone can do YouTube, that's true. But not everyone's going to watch it, and everyone's going to be good. Like, seriously, I was... You have to work at it. You can't just be like, alrighty then, I'm going to talk about my life in the most goddamn monotone way possible. I understand that I'm really mad. You understand that I'm not even stopping this friend. I'm at a fucking attempt 33, and I just fucking died up the fucking asshole in the continent, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Seriously, it was just like fucking pausing for awkward silences and like the editing was awful. It was, I could tell, Windows Movie Maker. No effort put in all, it was just Windows Movie Maker. It was absolutely no effort. I don't, I'm not going to give you the link to the video because then I don't get called out. Because my friends know I do this and they'll be like, and then it's all going to come back to me like, oh, you're such a jerk, fucking make it fun in the video. So I'm not going to give you the link, but you could probably just go on any goddamn vlog a girl makes and just like, oh, it's so shitty. And most of them don't even care. But the people that do, the ones that do care, don't improve. They just show boob. That's it. That's all they do. Think about it. You really think about it. All the review girls, they showed boob. They didn't wear a sweater. They fucking wear like a shirt. Probably no bra just to get a fucking subscriber because they are whores. You wanna know why they're whores? Because their daddy never loved them. Why their daddy never loved them? Because he knew they'd become a goddamn whore. How did he know that? Because he looked at them when they were little and they were always sucking on something like their thumb or their mother's dildo. Seriously, like it was just so goddamn obvious when he stuck the goddamn purple vibrator up the fucking, fucking, what's it called? Uh, manaconda. No, that's the dude's dick. Um, fun hole, that's it. Fucking sticking the goddamn thing up the fun hole at age four. You already know your child's gonna be a whore, so you're done. Why love him? They're all gonna be a whore. Who gives a shit? 
They're gonna be on the goddamn corner. Why would you love someone on the corner? No one loves anyone on the corner. They use them, then they fuck them, then they leave. Well, there's no point in loving anyone who works on the corner because they're, they're just gonna fuck you. They're gonna fuck you, then leave. They're gonna take your money, and then some. And then sometimes they're gonna screw you. They're gonna screw you. And not after. They're gonna screw you after you get. After they screw you, they're gonna like fucking tire the bed and just keep your money and then steal your steal your shit. Because you know what? Never trust a goddamn whore. Don't trust girls. Seriously, they're fucking weird. Because some girls are cool, but there's some girls are just fucking weird. Seriously, like some of them don't make any sense. And like, like some of them are like the legitimate reason like the pictures on the internet exist, where it's just like understanding women, the pocket version. It's like fucking like goddamn two feet thick. Some of them are exactly that reason on why that is even fucking there. Like seriously. Some of them are just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Shut the fuck up. Some of them you just want to be like, shut the fuck up. Seriously, no one gives a shit. Some of them just like, oh my god. You know what I'm saying? You know those... Oh my fucking cunt! Yeah, that's right, because I have a goddamn cunt. You wanna know why? Because I've been lying to you all along. Even though you see my face, I'm just a really ugly girl. So fuck you, I'm a girl. Yeah, I have a vagina. So give me five fucking subscribers. You know what? Maybe I should do this. So on Halloween, I'm gonna fucking dress up like a girl, put a goddamn fake vagina over my crotch, and then just do a fucking strip tease. Bam! Like, because it'd be funny, and there's almost the likeness of a girl on it, fucking three subscribers, and then three unsubscriptions, so zero. So there's no goddamn point. So if, uh, my point is that if you're fucking on Facebook and you're bored, you don't fucking do a vlog for YouTube unless you think you're gonna be funny. You don't just talk about your goddamn life. You gotta make it funny. There's just, you can't do it. It's stupid. It's absolutely fucking retarded and everything. I could have made this goddamn vlog without the gameplay. You know what makes it fun? To g I mean, like, do you want to look at my face? No. Would you want to look at my face if I was a girl? Yes. You want to know why? Because I have boobs. Exactly. So the logic is that if you have boobs, you will succeed in life. That is 100% fucking true. If you have a goddamn rack that's good, everyone is going to fucking love you. You're going to get promoted easier and everything. Just this, this goddamn this goddamn economy and this goddamn society is just fucking sexist. And I just fucking took this this goddamn cube to take two, two fucking spikes up the asshole. Even if a goddamn cube does have an asshole, seriously, it's just it's a cube. How could it have an asshole? Like, seriously, I don't understand. But anyway, so I think I'm going to wrap up this rant. I was just saying that it's just not fair that, I mean, if I was a girl and I did vo vlogs, you would watch it. Hell, if all I had to do was just fucking look all chesty and then put that in the goddamn thumbnail and you would just click on it because your penis told you so. Like, dude, boobs, click on this shit. Click on this shit. When I don't understand when you do that, when we have the internet, which has Pornhub and all that shit. So why don't you just go there instead of just fucking jacking off to people talking? I mean, you can jack out to people fucking, which like a normal person, they're like, Oh my god, I love your voice talking about your fucking life. You know how goddamn creepy that is? Might as well be a fucking pedophile, because most of them are goddamn below 16, because they have no fucking any, and they have no anything, they have no anything. Yeah, that makes sense. They have no fucking anything else to do, but goddamn say, Oh my god, my life sucks, my boyfriend's amazing, blah blah blah. Fucking act like the most goddamn stereotypical teenage girl on the goddamn internet, just for fucking YouTube. You know what? There's no point to that. I'm seriously sick of seeing this shit. Shit. And then the, mo the thing, it wouldn't be so bad if it, they didn't get fucking subscribers. That's the one thing that pissed me off the goddamn fucking most. That they actually get subscribers. When people like me and you, anyone else who commentates on the, like my friend Kronitar, we do not get that much subscribers because we don't have boobs. We have manly voices and fucking penises. You know what that gets us? Hurt. We get hurt a lot. In the dick, in the heart. But you know what? The, the fucking every girl thinks like, oh, guys don't have art. They think with their dick. No, that's a lie. The real truth is that guys actually do think with their brains, some of them, and girls, they think with their heart. And you know what's right? The brain. Because the brain is logical. Your heart is not logical. Your heart is going to pick the fucking idiot, most idiotic choice ever. Hey, there's this really nice guy versus this really fucking douchebag. Who should I check? I don't know. The fucking douchebag? Yeah. Yeah. Go with that. Then what do you do? You fucking post on Facebook that you're fucking crying that you that you dated a douchebag and you just wish all guys would change because they're all suck. You know whose fault that is? Fucking yours. So why do you goddamn... Just fucking sack up or over up to your god own damn choices instead of blaming blaming guys. Guys are not that bad. I will admit some of them are fucking dicks because you want to know why we have dicks. But still, some of them are really, really big dicks. Once again, black guys have big dicks, so I'm going to point that out there. But once again, all they, some of them are really mean. Some of them are really angry. Some of them are just, just straight up dicks. I understand that, but... Seriously, if you have the if a nice guy and a douche likes you, which one should you choose? Oh, the heart says uh, douche, but your brain says fucking nice guy because it's more logical. You know what you pick? You fuck. You pick. Pick up your heart. Us guys, we pick up our brains. 
because we want we think and some of them yeah they do pick with their dick but eventually most guys like when they're when like kind of like when we're kids when we're young we think with our dick i won't lie uh i haven't really thunk with my dick because i am mature yeah, I'm fucking mature, alright? I'm doing this shit for you. No, I'm a really mature person. I've never really thought of my dick. I know some people that do dick with, dick with their dick, and it doesn't really end out very well. But that's what guys do when they're young. Like, they just want to... They want hot girls. They don't want an actual relationship, which is fucking understandable, because that's how their brain is wired at the moment. But when they get older, they're like, I want an actual relationship. And then they do that. And then it, then they don't become dicks anymore. They're like nice guys. But and even still then, the fucking girl thinks you're for goddamn hard and just picks the douchebag every time. And then fucking... Then seriously, the fucking... You know what really fucking pissed me off? That shit when they post on Facebook. Oh my god, this guy's a dick. I really wish all guys would change. They all suck. And I know... And, and, and the worst part is like, I know what the fuck happened. Like who she chose. And I would just... And then I'm just like, you are a fucking retard. Seriously. You know what pissed me off even more? How fucking our... My generation has... <clears throat> oh my god. My fucking generation pissed me off so much sometimes. Like, seriously? The word love means nothing anymore. Like, oh, I love you. I mean, that that means... That's supposed to mean something. You don't fucking say that after two days, or a month, or fucking one week. You don't fucking say that. You know what I see on my fucking Facebook wall all the time when I'm just trying to look up some funny pictures on the goddamn pages I look at? Fucking, oh, I love this girl. I've been go. I can, I, I know how long they've been going off. Like, one month. Like, oh, I love you so much. Fucking hard, 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 hard. You're the, you're the best girl in the world, blah. Like, you say that to your... To, you can say you're the best girl in the world. That's fine. But it's like, oh my god, I don't know what I'd do without you. You're the love of my life, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a shit. No one gives a shit. So why don't you keep that shit to yourself? Text it. I don't want to see that shit on Facebook. You know who fucking likes it? They're goddamn friends. The girl's friends. Do I know why no guy friends likes it? Because we're secretly thinking he's gay. We're all thinking he's gay. Like, oh my god, this kid's like fucking gay. Seriously, why would he fucking say I love you after like a month? I mean, every guy thinks it's like, oh, it's okay. I mean, I've thought it's okay. You want to know why? Because I've been fucking brainwashed by this goddamn fucking society to think it's okay. Seriously, it's the most fucking stupid thing ever. I don't know why we do it. I don't do it. But some people, oh my fucking god, it's the most retarded thing ever. If you say fucking I love you after like two days, go. Your, your relationship's over. It's obviously over unless the fucking girl's obviously retarded. If, if you both say I love you after two days, guess what? Relationship's going down. Your relationship's not going to last. You say I love you in like a month, your relationship isn't going to last. It's obviously not going to last. You want to know why? Because you don't actually love each other. You just say it because you're brainwashed to think it. You don't know what love is. Love is something that you feel. You can't tell what it is. You just feel it. And you're not going to feel it after a one month of someone. And especially because in your, when you're in high school, you don't even see that person much. You don't even see that person much. I don't even see my girlfriend that much. And I don't even know. Like, I don't know. I don't even see her that much. We're going off like um, almost five months. But seriously, I don't see her that much. And I don't, I don't even know. The fucking five months later. Fucking people like, oh, I love this girl. No, you don't. It's been a fucking month. You retarded? Are you high? Are you fuck? Are you drunk? Are you just fucking mentally retarded? Autism? Like, uh, seriously, get the fuck, get your fucking head out of your ass. This is not love. This is fucking. You want vagina or you're just a vagina? Take your pick. It's either two things. If you say I love you before a month, if you say I love you before a reasonable time, like I don't know, six months. Re that's about a reasonable time, I think. Uh, probably more. But let's say six months. Before that, you're either a vagina or you're just or you want the vagina it's just simple logic you're like oh i love you now please fuck me or suck my dick or give me a hand job or you're just like hey i love you you want to know why because i'm because i because i just do and everyone's gonna be like no you don't you fucking don't i mean all the girls like oh it's so sweet but every fucking guy's like no no you don't it's been like a fucking month and i know you don't so what are you saying that for? You you're either fucking stupid, which most guys fucking are nowadays. No offense, but my, at least where I am, it's fucking retarded. I hate this shit. I hate my goddamn generation. S fucking seriously, like the no faith in humanity pages. I like those because just fucking the most relatable thing in the goddamn universe. Just looking at them like there's no faith in humanity. There's some really goddamn stupid people out there. Don't let don't you dare become one of them. Become a smart person. Study. Do shit. And do not fucking say I love you after one month or you. Will fucking die of herpes. You wanna know why? Because then you're gonna get to fuck over and over. And eventually you will get herpes, because that's fucking a common STD, and that shit don't go away. I think no, the clap the clap doesn't go away. Yeah, the clap doesn't go away. So fucking choose. Wait or fucking get herpes. Yeah. You wanna know what? I just fucking blew your mind. You know what? I'm gonna be an immature little bitch and stop on 69. Holy shit, that fucking rhyme. That rhyme too. Oh, look at the time. Okay, but seriously, you should really stop being a little bitch and just think. Think. Don't think of your dick and don't think of your heart. Think of your brain. Do you actually love this girl? The only way to figure this out is just, just 
think. And the only the hard thing is that you have to really think about it. It's a really hard thing to figure out. But if you really think, love is um. Most people would say that love is a chemical reaction in the brain. It's a lot of things. In fact, no one really knows what what it is. I mean, it's it's complicated. It's really hard. Like. It's really, it's a hard thing to understand. But seriously, you don't fucking love someone after a month. It's impossible. And I hope your relationship, if you fucking do that, I really hope your relationship ends. Because it's going to end soon. You want, it's not going to end soon, but it will end. You're not going to last if you say it after a month. Even if you do fucking marry this girl, you're going to realize later in life, I say this too early, I fucked up, I actually don't love this girl. I just thought I did. And then you're going to be stuck for her because you got her pregnant. Because you just wanted, you wanted, the, you wanted the vagina. And you got the vagina. So, you just fucked yourself. So just fucking wait. Seriously, think it through. Don't be a fucking retard. Just think it through. I'm sick and tired of this shit. Every goddamn time. I hate my goddamn generation for doing it. It's almost brainwashed me, and I'm a fucking smart kid, and it's like, seriously, fucking bullshit. I hate it. I had the same conversation with, like, many people. Fuck. All right. My rant is done. I started, I stopped in 69. So you liked my rant, and you have anything to say, just comment, and I will talk to you. In fact, you want to Skype about this, I'll talk to you. You have a comment, you liked it, you, you think it's, like, a good rant, do shit. You want to favorite it because you think it's a cool rant. You want to like it because you liked it. You want to favorite it. Do that shit. And if you like how I commentate, I do the same thing for everything, really. And I got almost 600 videos, so check them out. I'm done whoring myself out. Have a good day. Don't fucking say it in a month or I will kick you in your vagina and or cooch. Wait, that's the same thing. Uh, Dick.